like your style Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I'd run the world, I'd run the miles The way you look at me I think I'm going insane <clears throat> okay, we meet again. Today is the day. Well, it's actually not the day. It's it's two days out, as you can see by the title. It's two days out from my very first marathon, guys. We're still in Christchurch. I have packed the van, as you can see behind me. Um, I'll show you guys what I took when I get there. But the mission for today is to drive at least six hours from Christchurch to Queenstown. Now for anyone out there, for anyone that doesn't live in New Zealand, Queenstown is quite the place. I haven't really been there too much as an adult, so it's going to be fun. I don't know what I'm going to do, but basically today's mission is to get there, register for the marathon which opens at 3. Um, it's open all day tomorrow for, the, for registration, but if you do want to get in early on the Thursday, it opens at 3. It's 7.44am right now, so effectively... I've got seven and a quarter hours um, to get there on time. But really, it doesn't matter when I get there because I'm going to take it easy. I'm not going to rush. Um, I've, had a, I've had a whole heap of experience driving long distances, living in Central Australia. Um, there's been days where I've driven all day, 15, 16, 17 hours to cover, you know, a thousand miles in a day or something crazy like that. So today is 600 k's, it's under 400 miles, and it's going to be piss easy. And it's going to be great scenery too. So, I can't wait. I cannot wait. This is how I like to do things, man. Just sitting off on my own. The Lone Ranger. Ticking things off the list. Getting shit done. Kicking goals. That's what 2020 has been about. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I want to say good morning from Christchurch, New Zealand. And I'll see you guys on the road. Actually, just one thing before I do head off. I did want to mention uh, my training schedule over the last two days. So, I... At seven days out, I did a 20 kilometer run. At five days out, I did a 21 kilometer run. Four days out, I took completely off. Three days out, I took completely off to let my legs recover because I did feel fatigue in that second run from the first long distance run. So I said to myself, right, I've got five days to go to the, the race. I'm not going to do another long distance run. I don't need to. Nothing's going to change. I'm not going to be able to change anything at this late, late stage. So I'm going to let my legs rest and eat well and that's exactly what I did so four days out nothing three days out which was yesterday absolutely no cardio but I did go into the gym and get some blood moving um, get my nutrients moving around my body I did a push session so that's chest shoulders and triceps and then I came home so here we are it's eight o'clock in the morning and um, I've probably probably only done like five or six thousand steps per day for the last two today I'm going to I'm going to obviously get down to Queenstown. I am going to try and get in a few steps, probably 10,000. That's going to require an hour's walk when I get down there, um, which is going to be easy. That's going to be nice and relaxing, and that's all I'm going to do. Tomorrow is going to be one day out, and I'm probably going to do even less, to be fair. Just make sure I eat a certain amount of carbohydrates um, and make sure I'm fueled, watered, s recovered through sleep, and ready to go at 7 in the morning on Saturday. So I just thought I'd mention my activity levels over the last two days. A few of you might be wondering what my training's been, especially since I did those long distance runs so close to the start of the marathon. I just thought I'd mention that. For anyone that is following along, for anyone that likes analytics stats as much as I do, you're probably going to be interested in that. Anyways guys, now I'll see you on the road. Alright. Yeah, copy that. Um, what's going on guys? I just passed a place called Fairley. Um, I'm, I'm now standing in the middle of the road. And uh, there's not much here. I'm about halfway, I feel. We've got loads of sheep in the background actually. It's fucking, it's nice around here, eh? I, um, I'll turn that off. I decided to take the scenic route instead of going all the way down the coast to Timaru. And then Omaru, I decided to uh, turn right before Timaru and go down the middle. So we've been surrounded by beautiful mountains and fields. And not many cars. I've just been listening to a couple of podcasts. My day is going swimmingly. This is my van. And in fact, it's probably time 
for me to begin my, well actually no it's not, I tell a lie, it's not time for me to begin my van life vlog series which you can expect on this channel coming shortly because I'm not going to be living in this van for two more nights. I've got two nights of accommodation in Queenstown, that's tonight being Thursday, tomorrow night being Friday, then Saturday, I wish I had a microphone for this camera. Um, holy shit that's loud. So basically guys it's Thursday today, we're heading down there today, the plan is, the plan is to stay two nights in accommodation, run the marathon Saturday morning, come back to my van, and that's it, it's just me in the van, from Saturday afternoon onwards, so uh, yeah, I don't know how long I'm going to last, honestly I don't, I, I, I've got my, my sleeping bag, I've got my pillow, I've got uh, some food, and I've literally got everything I need, I've got everything I need, I, I don't need fuck all, all I need is a, 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 all I need is some electricity from somewhere, plus a place to have a shower. I've got my Snap Fitness membership, which I feel like is going to come in handy, so I feel like I'm going to be fine. I feel like I'm going to be on the road for at least seven days, which is, which is what the goal was. I'm not going to say seven days, I'm not going to rope myself into that because I feel like that's, that's quite a stretch, but at least a couple of nights because it's time man, it's time for me to just get out of Christchurch, get out of the house, in some solace, uh, in nature, and wake up to this kind of thing, you know what I mean? For once. So that's the goal. Anyways guys, I'll see you on the road once again. Alright, <clears throat> I've got to show you guys this. Behind you, I don't know if it's the glasses or not, but I, I swear this is the bluest fucking massivest lake I've ever seen in my life. we? have a look at that. I'm pretty sure that's that's Lake Lake Tekapo. Couldn't be a hundred percent, but uh, yeah, it's fairly big and it's fairly blue. And I've just come in from like around those hills. I'm at basically sea level right now. But if you are above sea level, this looks absolutely incredible. So I had to stop. Anyways, let's continue. Right, guys. Quick stop. We're at a crossroads, but it's a fucking stunning crossroads. It's, it's a place called Cromwell in central Otago. And seriously, guys, I have I've wanted to stop and bring out my camera probably a good probably a good 15, 20 different times on this trip because the scenery is just absolutely stunning. You know, I, I you know, I'm realizing what people what people say when they when they talk about the scenery of New Zealand how fucking beautiful it is especially the South Island honestly man I've just driven through the heart of the South Island on a real awesome day with blue sky and honestly bro it's been absolutely incredible I've loved every minute and I'm almost to Queenstown so the time right now is 2.03 p.m. Uh, the registration opens in an hour and I'm going to be there in about 50 minutes. So it's going to be perfect timing. Um, I'm going to register, then go to my accommodation, and I'll see you guys when we get there. Cromwell, man. Seriously, Cromwell? I have a feeling, I have a feeling that this area, or the sections of land in this area, are reasonably priced. I also have a feeling that the usual weather in this area would be rather cold and miserable. But we are coming into summer right now and on a day like this, in surroundings like this, this is, this is nature man, this is uh, this is inspiring, it's, it's, it's clear, it's clear, it allows me to, to collect my thoughts easily because there's not a lot of shit around me distracting me, it's, it's absolutely beautiful, there's too many cars around this spot. But if you were to get a rural area, a rural spot with, with you know, no, no main road next to it, this, um, I'm blown away man, I really am, I'm blown away. Because this is the kind of drive that I've been meaning to do for months, months and months, but I just haven't. And so it's, it's taken me to, to enter a marathon to actually get in the car and fucking drive out of Christchurch. So I'm so glad I did guys. 
and I'm so glad I'm bringing you along for the journey, as I always would. So now, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, we have arrived, and... Continue straight, then turn left. I'm literally here five minutes before the athlete check-in, so it looks as if, to my left, there are lots of people already lined up, but I feel like being here early is a good thing. So I'm glad I'm here. Hopefully there'll be a park somewhere. All right, step number one is complete. We're here. We made it to the event location, which is Queenstown, and have a fucking look behind me. Have a look behind me, bro. Look at this shit. Oh mate, what a stunner of a day to get down here. Anyways, uh, time for business. <clears throat> right, uh, we're going to be seeing this each at the exact same time. You and I both. Um, I'm expecting, you know, as I as I come up higher, this looks absolutely epic, uh, picturesque, you might say, picture perfect, if you will. Um, and we're going to continue to go up for another 700 meters, and that's where I'm staying, up this road. I cannot get over the scenery around here, man. I just cannot. It is, like I said, picturesque. Anyways, uh, what do we got? 500 meters. 450. 400. I've been looking forward to this for so fucking long. I didn't know where I was going to stay until like a few days ago, but as far as as far as doing a marathon, as far as taking 300 meters, your destination will be on the left. On the left, number. Well, I won't say the number, but okay, we're not gonna. I don't know if we're gonna have any views, but as far as the setting, you couldn't get much better. I'm impressed. Right, I'm just gonna just gonna drive a little closer um guys I'll, I will say one thing I will say one thing pretty much every single time over the last I'd say three years that I've traveled you know for any for any short ish length of time I've always used Airbnb uh, for my way of booking it and uh, and for my way of finding the property and I tend to enjoy going to someone's house and, and sit and you know using their studio or using their room or using their house while they're away or something like that because you get a better experience and you also usually get get value for money. But I got to say, guys, before I go in, it's fucking hot here. It's it's hot today. I'm not going to lie, but before we go in, just between you and me, I paid seventy-five dollars a night for this. Okay, just quietly, um, two nights. I haven't been inside yet, but from the outside, it looks absolutely perfect. So let's get inside. closet and a mean as studio apartment that's all I ever wanted that's all I ever needed and I got it so I'm happy what I also got is my race number 1702 I got my bus pass to the start line because you wouldn't want to miss that <laughs> oh man imagine if you did imagine if you missed the last bus I think the first one goes at 6.45, the second, the last one goes at 7.25. I've cooled down slightly. I don't know whether it's my red, I don't know whether it's my red top or, or my, my red face, but my face does look red. Anyways guys, it's time we look in our competitors pack, because I'm excited for that. Makes me feel like a kid on Christmas, in fact it is nearly Christmas. Right my friends, welcome, welcome to Queenstown, officially. Welcome to the Queenstown Marathon. Uh, I am competitor number 1702 and that is going to be safety pinned to the front. 
Not sure what I'm going to wear yet, but I'll work that out. There's snacks. Okay, so this is what it looks like. A little bag. I did get told, I did get told at the registration that because I'm doing the full marathon, I have the ability to drop drinks that I want at the 20 kilometer aid station and the 33 kilometer aid station. If I want specific personalized drinks for me as a competitor, as I run past, I can drop them down there and get them cold in my hand as I run past. How good would that be? So I think I'm going to do that. Um, but also I take down anything I want to take with me to the start line that I want at the finish line. I put in this bag, I've put my number on it, it gets taken to the finish line and I pick it up. So it's all very efficient, I think, I hope. Um, <laughs> I probably won't be taking too much um, valuable stuff but I will be taking this camera right to the start line and I'll be putting it in this very bag and I'll be picking it up from the finish line and letting you guys know exactly how it goes. But that's not for two more days. Anyways. What do we got? What do we got here? Actually, I think it's more so... <laughs> what the fuck is this? It's sunscreen. Uh, 50 plus. That's got to be the smallest bottle of sunscreen I've ever seen in my entire life. It must be for people who forgot it. And I certainly didn't. I'm not that silly. Um, but apart from that, we've got some coffee, which definitely fits the bill for me. Thank you very much. And if I can get some light here, we've got a one square meal. A, uh, a mini one square meal. Which I will eat in exactly 20 seconds. I think that's it for today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chill out now. I'm going to rest and recover. That's what I've been doing for the last two days, that's what I'll do today, and that's what I'll do tomorrow. But tomorrow is going to be very exciting, and the reason for that, I will let you know in the morning. So for anyone following along at home, thank you for watching, man. And if I'm inspiring you or motivating you to get off the couch, get out there and try something new, whether it be marathon running or whether it be something completely different, let's get active, man. That's what 2020 has been about for me, and that's what I hope to push through these videos, is being active is not only healthy for your physical body but also for your mental your mental health and um it's huge for me it's huge for my mental health i cannot you know i cannot uh i cannot say that enough i don't know what the what the adjective is is it even called an adjective what's the descriptive word that that's just huge i cannot cannot say it enough for how, how important being active is to my to my uh, mental health and with a good sense of mental health everything else flourishes or you can do everything else with bad mental health you can't do nothing you're useless it's so important we need to we need to nurture it and with that being said guys i've definitely said enough this is my my new house sit for for two days i'll see you guys bright and early in the morning thank you for watching and peace out wow yeah swear to god i'm with it i don't see nobody in my lane is quite go get it like me Oh, please don't be wasting my time with that business.